here's the railing that we've got and you can see that the adhesive on it has yellowed and it's peeling up and it's peeling up here on the end. Hi, Bryn. Hi. And it's peeled up at different points along here too. It doesn't doesn't stick anymore. It's just peeled off. So it doesn't really work that well if it doesn't stay stuck down. And wherever your child drools on it, the liquid leaks underneath there and pulls it up and yellows it. This is where she drools the most. And you can see that it's very yellow down here. So it's it's a great idea. It might work for your child if they really don't touch the railings very much, but that's kind of what it's for. So if you have a child that touches the railings a lot and chews on them and drools on them, it's not going to hold up. And over here, you can see the corner. It has never stuck and obviously it's against the wall in the corner, so she can't be drooling on it there. Hi, honey. This right here, you can see that spot on the rail, that is where she used to bite on the paint before we had the crib rail. So it's it's a better solution than having nothing at all, but it's definitely not ideal. So we got a new one and we're going to try that out instead. But as for this rail, it's, it's very hard to put on. You have to pull the adhesive strips off both sides and they're long strips, so you can only pull a little bit off at a time and try to fit it down and push it along and make sure there aren't any bubbles because the bubbles make it not stick and not fit right. And we had a couple times of trying to get them on. On this crib, it actually went on better. But even here, this is an, our older daughter and she doesn't drool on it or bite on it and it doesn't stick. And it's not sticky at all on the inside anymore. So there's no way to get it back on it's just that way and if you don't push it exactly straight then you end up with it being all lopsided like it is here where it doesn't line up on the rail and again we've got it completely detached here unfortunately these pieces of white right here are paint that it has ripped off of the crib when the adhesive came off so that's unfortunate because now there's damage to the wood on the actual crib.